that semblance, that sort of attitude, definitely, uh, definitely called Josh the Gamer. Oh yeah, among those people taking on Con Man and Winter Semis. You talk about a come up for Con Man. Uh, gone from winning the uh, the Mickey Mouse Bears the weekend of Super Smash Con to Absolutely. now making it to uh, the legitimate top eight. Been on the come up for a while, but uh, Josh did not like the ditto. Instead, going with the uh, with the pit road. Yeah, you're talking about cold and calculating. Well, you know, robots are immortal. They can wait forever. So they are uh, definitely just waiting in the wings. And uh, victory is just ever present for them. They just have to wait as long as they need to. But Josh is in no stranger to Robs. He certainly uh, knows the game plan against a Rob. So we'll see if the uh, the pith pick will be able to uh, counter it. Right now, favoring, favoring pretty well. You know, he is putting Con Man a little bit on his toes in terms of uh, control of stage. And against the Rob character, you can play off stage, Ooh. but your combos sort of lead from main stage to off, and that's where they find their benefit. So for Josh to be able to cut off Con Man from that option, uh, is definitely why he's keeping it at least toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. Yeah, just going to try to out-privilege the Rob, which <laughs> is a feat in of itself. But right. then again, you're talking about someone who has gotten PR, top five PR, with this exact character. And Con Man is going to have to show Josh did something that he does not know about the uh, about the robotic operating buddy as <laughs> Mithra goes down below the stage. Tyra getting caught at the ledge. Con Man doing a good job of trying to keep the uh, trying to keep the distance. It's relatively, it's a modestly paced first game, uh, first stop. Let's put it that way. Before the pile driver puts an end to Josh at his first uh, first head there, but I don't know what I'm seeing from Josh from Jonathan is the inability to really kind of get in, or at least the willingness to kind of sit back and see what Con Man is trying to do before exactly. you commit to these full frontal attacks. Yeah, a lot of uh, flaming edge, just throwing out the sword, letting it do its own work. And, uh, you know, like I said before, he knows the game plan against Rob because he has played Rob so, so many times that, you know, if uh, he might have us questioning what to do, but uh, if anyone's going to know what to do against Rob, it would be the uh, one has, again, had so many PR wins against players uh, with Rob uh, in his... Uh, in his toolkit, but uh, now we're seeing a lot more aggressive. Uh, there we go. Yeah, there you leading go. off off stage. You can cut off uh, with the disjoint and the uh, the beefy hits of the uh, the pyro mm -hmm. will certainly uh, make Joshlin uh, be a little more assertive and aggressive off stage. Even though the stocks make it one one, comment quick to uh, even that right back up. But thirty six, um, you know, a foothold on, and if. You know, you get your combo started with uh, Mithra and you're able to swap the Pyra. Uh, it's nearly a, uh, a sealed deal there. So we'll have to see if Conman can uh, to rewrite the book. Of note, it should be mentioned, two minutes to take the first uh, take the first stocks mm. off of the board in this game number one. Less than a minute to take the next two. So now we're starting to see this game open up a little, get a little bit familiar with each other's offense. It's going to be a swing of the sword that sw sends the Rob up in the air. That could have been, that could have gone either way. It feels like, but then again, mm -hmm. just a little bit. You got that a little bit quicker of a button. You might as well use it. That might be the difference here. Wow! As Joshathan is going to take game number one. The quickness of the buttons in the air. Obviously, that Rob Nair is very good, but it's a very deliberate offensive maneuver. It's not yes. like one of those quick get off me nairs that you see with a lot of these other characters. Be it a be it a, a combo starter, kind of sex kick sort of thing, yeah. or just some sort of, ah, you're in my space, get away from me. Right. It, it's a deliberate offensive measure, and you know, Pyra and Mithra don't necessarily need to worry about the startup that uh, that either one were. And even though I've forgotten which one is which, I can tell you. Pyra's this, fire, so right. Yeah, okay, yeah, I mean, I know, yeah, Lavos and Legba, yeah, <laughs> they're cool, sure. But I'm trying to help you out, man. Yeah, no, I, I feel you, and and I and I completely crapped on you for it. So that's what you get. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. Either way, game number two, yes. and again, the, utilizing the quickness that the blonde one has. Yeah. And <laughs> it's well, um, what you were saying, yeah, the deliberateness of that nair, like like you said, but in you saying that, you revealed why Joshin is so quick to respond that with the disjoint of that uh, that neutral. Uh, the neutral air of uh, Pyra and Mithra. And Joshin, you know, is 
is nearly aware of the timing that Con Man is throwing it out as well. So he can throw out that disjoint, uh, read the time, and basically get that hit in before Con Man has a chance to throw out that in there at the right time. Uh, maybe the gyro gameplay on stage could be a little bit better, and that's why we're seeing Con Man have a little bit more of a foothold on stage. Not a whole lot of gyro interactions because um, uh, maybe he fought a little bit more with Laser. As as we talked about before, Josh then was playing a little more reserved with Flaming Edge. So maybe uh, a, a more gyro-centric uh, uh, game plan is what Con Man needs to get, the, uh, to get an establishment up against Josh then here. Yeah, and obviously there are various Rob players that have all sorts of varying views on what the Rob Ditto could entail as mm. we see Justin not uh, playing along with any of that, taking yeah. the first stock off of Con Man. But, you know, regardless of the level of play, you'll see people, I mean, like being in DFW, you see it all the time with people like Grayson and Atomic and Cosma mm. who have to negotiate the, the Rob Ditto just because over the course of the tournament when Rob defines a region so thoroughly as he does, you're going to run into them every now and then. And Con Man is having to play against who could very well be the best Rob in the city, but is choosing to forego it altogether. Not necessarily because they're not confident in the ditto, but because in Pyre and Mithra, yeah. they see an answer to everything that Rob can throw at exactly. you. Exactly, yes. Uh, you, you laid it out textbook perfectly there. So, um, And again, Jostin right now, again, locking down stage control, taking that aspect away from Rob because does have a lot of combos that lead out left to right uh, very, very far. Uh, so he needs that ground control in order to establish Ooh. the wide breadth of those combos. And if you cut off even a, a stifling uh, factor of it, even if it's a small factor, you st still cut off maybe like 20, 30 damage. And at 20, 30 damage, that could swing the, uh, the name of the Ooh. set from one to another, yeah. But now we're seeing it. Con Man learning very quickly that he needs to be the one to counterpunch. Exactly. He saw Con Man is like, okay, I need to establish Gyro. I need to make sure that you know these two are going to have to work around what I'm putting out. Yeah. Now we're seeing, no. You let Justin, you bait out these interactions, and then you're able to get rewarded with the Wally Wop off of the side. Then you get rewarded with those gyro snipes. And even though you're getting batted around a little bit because Rob is, hang on, let me just check my notes here. Big. There you that's go. The, uh, <laughs> that, that's just the unfortunate nature of what you're going through. But you have those big burners to make up for it. And Con Man is going to incinerate Mithra and take us to a game number three. Yeah, I mean, exactly the way you said, he's not gonna find those long string combos. And, uh, you know, there may be one or two of those uh, in an entire round. And uh, they're effective in, in the hands of a Rob. So if you don't find those, you have to find a lot more smaller uh, combos to establish that damage or to establish pressure off stage. Where those smaller combos, if you're already forcing off stage, they're basically the lead off of those larger combos, and it, it, it puts the pressure on your opponent at the right moment, the right time, the right place. And Command just found those smaller combos at that left and right uh, uh, sides of the stage in order to pressure Josh then off the stage. And again, Pyra Mithra, the recovery options are so limited or so telegraphed that their recovery to back on the stage might be a, uh, a harrowing situation for them. So that's why Con Man found his foothold, and that's why we're seeing this game three. Jonathan really did get a little comfortable, it felt like, in the neutral as well, because Con Man did have to wait and bait out a lot of those, uh, a lot of those situations, especially as we saw on the ledge for that game number two, as yeah. Nair is connecting in the middle of the stage now, maybe just a little bit more consistently waiting for Joshathan to try to utilize the uh, the mega fast sortie privilege that these two were getting uh, and have really gotten quite a bit throughout the course mm -hmm. of their uh, existence throughout this game. But again, Con Man learning to problem solve. Joshathan, to, uh, to his credit, working through it and, uh, and sticking with these characters. But you gotta think, if there's a character with which you can make adjustment, it has to be these two swordsmen. Yeah, I mean, both of them, uh, they're essentially master of one of their arts, either quick speed and combo, or the BB hits off of the combo to finish it off. And uh, Jostin, uh definitely well-practiced in both respects. Con Man, again, he has combos of his own, he has some BB hits of his own, but it all depends on those placings of those certain moments. Like, I think 
Josh Beautiful. Can, yeah, great back air to uh, keep it toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Joshton, I think, can, you know, establish more combos in the air as well as on the ground. So that's why I think he's having a little bit more of an easier time putting Con Man on his toes in terms of, uh, you know, claiming the uh, the flow of the gameplay and holding on to it. And uh, Con Man, you know, he finally found that nugget of information. He finally found that, okay, if I just hold back my combos a little bit, but also, you know, uh, don't... Uh, give my opponent, uh, you know, enough leverage, and I find the control off that stage to make those mini combos more effective uh, in those those uh, those very pivotal moments. I can get a foothold here, and I can work against him. Now we're seeing it again being worked up to triple digits. Yep. These two swords women. Yeah, but that's... against the robot. But again, what we're seeing from uh, from Con Man. The willingness to just kind of let Pyra and Mithra press buttons yeah. down tilt. Gonna give him an edge guard situation and still working his way back up. Not giving him any sort of space. It's being earned here by Jostin Gamer, who again gets caught pressing buttons in the middle of the air. You do not want to be fighting against that, Rob, because as big as your sword is, those jet burners seem gigantic right now, and all of a sudden you have a mountain to climb in this last stock. Absolutely, yeah. Common very quick to pick up those key moments where Joshitan's uh, either character placement or uh, maybe a whiff or two even uh, were starting to slip up in his uh, his game plan overall. And Kaman just picked it up and just pressured Pyramitha in the air on stage and was able to make this 2-1. And even though Rob will go the way of his final stock now, uh, Kaman just fought back tooth and nail to give him this advantage. He uh, pulled in uh, the reserves. He depleted nearly all of his energy. Uh, we'll see if he has enough in reserves to uh, force out Joshathan on the loser's side. But here comes a combo again, like you said. Rob falling right into those very quick uh, Mithra hits. Uh, the combos that she's going to find uh -oh. will benefit Joshathan. But 110 damage on is enough already done for Con Man to take this. We'll see if he can right. pressure off this oh. ledge. Mm. Well shielded there by Joshathan, who has been uh, maybe catching on a little bit to the movements in neutral from Con Man. Again, you're... You're a Rob in dash. You are vulnerable, but Jonathan has not really been able to fully capitalize on such things. Maybe uh, giving them the grabs a little bit too freely, as well as those up smashes. You caught, got caught pressing buttons in front of Rob, and as a result, Jonathan Gamer gets conned. I mean, yeah, we saw Con Man just you know put.